Welcome back to Houston Life. Fans of superheroes, gaming, anime, and pop culture will come together this weekend at the George R. Brown Convention Center for Comic Palooza, the largest comic book convention here in Texas. This is the place to be, and this year's event is bigger than ever. And of course, Lauren Kelly is taking us inside for a sneak peek before these doors actually open to the public. I know you're excited. <laughs> I'm so excited, Courtney and Derek. And like you said, it doesn't kick off until 6 p.m. with a welcome event tonight. Then everything else gets started at 7 p.m. And they're pushing it back because it is so much bigger and better. They're literally setting it up for you guys right now as we speak. And I showed you the cars earlier, but I, I wanted to show you one that I'm probably not supposed to show you yet. But they have everything here, y'all. Jurassic Park Mobile in the house. Also, the Comic Palooza Street Team is here with me. Now, <laughs> Kelly Whitaker, I've known you a very long time. You're dressed as Eddie Munson from Stranger Things. Yes. I, I have to ask, when it comes to cosplay and costumes for Comic Palooza, are there any rules? Um, we definitely say just to keep it for family friendly, but you can do anything. You can wear like your favorite DC or Marvel shirt. You can come and dress up as Stranger Things. Um, we have the whole Comic Palooza street team here. I've been doing it with them for years. I see Catwoman, Wayne's World, Belle, Alice Cooper. These are some great costumes. Yes. Right? Yeah. So let's walk this way because you guys were kind of showing me the lay of the land literally everybody is still getting set up but one team that we probably shouldn't forget is the star wars team are you a star wars fan yes definitely grogu so cute <laughs> big fan they big do fan. a lot of really cute pieces and i want i want you guys to come in here because look at this they literally are setting up but they have some of the best pieces the 501st legion i'm gonna go try to find excuse us guys i know you're setting up but we're here hi guys how's it going the 501st legion here with the star wars gang you have to come see some of the pieces that they have they are are amazing and look at this I've got John ready to go with some more info on you guys the Star Wars Alliance thank you for letting me in here because you have some really incredible stuff thank you thank you yeah and and we're representing uh, the 501st Legion Rebel Legion Mandalorian Mercs droid builders and Saber Guild who would have known there were so many so many <laughs> yes and and it's it's a it, it's taken a whole village to put all this together so what's, it's a really good time John what's really cool is that you guys are actually benefiting for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to have them. We have a table set up uh, in our booth, and people can come here. What we do is 100%. It's volunteer. We don't make any money from this, but we do raise money for foundations, and Make-A-Wish is our chosen foundation this year. That's so wonderful. Let's talk about some of the guys that we have with us today. Yes. Yeah, we have, well, obviously, we have R2. He didn't want to come do an interview with me, John. He didn't. I saw him <laughs> running away from you. That was rude. Uh, but we have a, 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 a gunner, a job. Uh, uh, They're very active. They're very happy. Yes, and a biker scout. Okay. So, and, and they're standing in front of uh, pretty much, it's like Tatooine land, okay. where we have like a Jawa junk pile back here. Hold with, on. Last yes. question, though. Uh, I want Enrique, my photographer, come on over here. Who is this? Who is this behind me? That's the scariest piece for me in all of Star Wars. That's the Imperial Probe Droid. Oh, yeah. Well, I know now. Thank you. The Imperial Probe Droid is who I'm going to be staying away from. John, thank Super you so much. You're have right. a great time this weekend. All right. Thank you. I have got all the details, y'all. If you missed anything or you want to go back, HoustonLife.tv. We broke it all down for you. Tickets are still on sale and you can come on in. They say to probably buy them online. It'll help you get through the lines and stuff because people are going to start showing up. And don't forget your costume. That's the most important part. Right, Courtney and Derek? Oh, yeah, you got to go in costume. Yes. Good times, Laura. And by the way, I'm moderating a panel on Sunday at noon with Christopher Eccleston, who is the doctor in Doctor, doctor who. who. He's been in Thor, Elizabeth. So if you stop by, it should be an interesting conversation. Thanks, Lauren. That's awesome. Have fun. Sure.